Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. I've gotten many comments from people that say, hey, Dorsey, you need to get over that. Uh, that's the past. So I know you had a bad experience, but it's time to move on, bro. That's something that if you were in my shoes, uh, would be very difficult if you understood the magnitude. Uh, but I did learn from it, at least. Uh, I learned a lot of valuable information uh, that, you know, gave me discipline and, and toughened me up, by the way, uh, and opened my eyes to things that I wouldn't have never even imagined in my wildest dreams, uh, literally. Uh, by the way, but I w had that happen for me, which I was very, very close. Uh, and I won't go into all the details about that uh, to crossing over. And that's why I just decided some years ago, as I mentioned to you guys, to kind of become like a whistleblower uh, and blow the whistle because they were still holding my my paperwork. There was promises that was made and I never received that information. I still don't know where it's at or who, you know, what's going on, or who was telling the truth. And it looks like he turned it over to a certain individual to make it, to make his hands clean so he doesn't have to be responsible for it. Then I was told I was kicked out that anybody who did YouTube videos from one of my private sources, and I have other sources out there uh, or whatever. And it was just, uh, it is for what it is. So that's something I'm going to never forget. You know, I have, uh, you know, moved on and I'm, you know, but I just wanted to be transparent with you all. If you are wondering why I haven't done videos in a while or when I come sporadically. Uh, but I would like to get the momentum back to put out consistent content. But I have been doing research and to some of my members over on Telegram, I appreciate the positive feedback and positive messages I've gotten. But I want to let those know I haven't been ignoring you uh, what it is with my uh, phone. Uh, when I log in on Telegram, I literally log in. Uh, I mainly use the uh, app through my desktop when I'm not. Uh, I haven't been on there in a while since I've been working the schedule. So I don't know sometimes when I get inboxes or messages because I have the app turned off uh, through the settings section on my phone. And I've done that intentionally because I don't like a lot of different apps bugging me with different uh, updates between you know all the different messaging uh social media out there different messaging services etc so i'm able to decompress uh and i try to loosen my mind away from all the stress in the world i even had to explain to a friend of mine who's known me for years i told him i don't even sleep with my cell phone uh, or when i take naps uh my cell phone is in my living room i don't even have it in my bed i never generally speaking about 90% of my daily life, I, I don't keep my cell phone in my uh, bedroom, by the way. So when it rings, I can turn the ringer down. Well, sometimes I do turn it turn it all, all the way down. Like recently when I did the video, I have it set. But some people think, you know, that I'm just ignoring you. And that's not the case. Uh, but I want to give you all a thorough understanding since I'm tra being transparent with you all. Uh, by the way, as to what for those I know, there's people over there that do follow me or have followed me in the past. Uh, but there's been a lot of amazing groups over there that's done some amazing work. Uh, I do appreciate when I go over there, I do get a lot of good information uh, from time to time. So just to give you all a heads up, I'm been I've been studying behind the scenes once again before I shut the video down. Uh, what else? Uh, one of the things I did do to fight back YouTube, I always forget to mention this to you guys. I mentioned this one time before. Uh, I disable all of the uh, the ads because I mostly watch the majority of my YouTube videos. Uh, I watch on my desktop, my PC, uh, when I'm basically at home. And what I was able to do across a uh, majority of all my web browsers uh, since this this channel was completely demonetized, 
uh, by the way. It's literally like chump change. I only get, and it's, it will take months before I'm able to get the uh, payment threshold uh, because of what whatever happened. They never sent an official message why they took my other channel down, my backup channel, which affected this channel. So what I did was to fight back, uh, and it's uh, I got this idea from a friend of mine, and I had no idea at the time. I thought he was uh, literally, you know, was 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 making this up. I did not know you could disable the ads that play even the ones that are automatic. Uh, and I may even try this out on my phone. I'm gonna have to play around with my phone. Uh, may, I might have to use a web browser, uh, but to fight back because you can boy, boycotts do work. Uh, by the way, is I disable all of the uh, the ads. I'd use an ad blocker uh, extension across all my web browsers. Uh, by the way, now there was some pushback over that, but I had to do that to fight back instead of, you know, saying YouTube, you're going to do that to me. And I am a, considered a minority, according to those who push the grievance industry and the victimhood uh, thing. If you get the drift, you get what I mean. I can play both sides of the fence and they're going to just do that to me. And as you've done to a lot of other YouTubers and specifically black YouTubers and not just black YouTubers in this space but other youtubers it's just so to me it's so mean it's very cruel they mess with people's livelihood and i remember i talked to uh hard working people in the past that even told me about they would have issues with co-workers or people that worked in sales that mess with their money by the way and then we're we're now in the future and uh this bully company alphabet that owns uh youtube or is google's parent company they're such a big bully uh, by the way, so that's what I did to let you guys know one of the things I did to fight back. And I'm going to encourage you guys as, as well because of these new policies that are coming out. It's going to be more important than ever to go over to other platforms. And one in particular, uh, head over to Rumble, uh, by the way, uh, to combat what they're doing with uh, freedom of speech. Uh, Rumble is an excellent platform. It's an excellent video web hosting platform that uh supports freedom of speech uh you know i'm just using youtube because i can still reach a lot of people it took me time to build my original subscriber base over here uh but you know if you haven't done so yet it has grown exponentially a lot of the people that you might find that have been censored over here have been kicked off youtube or have been banned they're over on rumble now uh so go over there check them out and there's other platforms just in case something was to happen to rumble you have other platforms as well. Uh, you have uh, Gab.ai, uh, Gab TV. You have Brighteon.com, Brighteon TV. Uh, you have True Social. You've got other alternatives out there. Minds.com. Uh, you got Odyssey Library. Uh, I'm just trying to think of offhand uh, to fight to combat what these big tech bullies are doing. By the way, in violation of freedom of speech, the antitrust laws. This forms of torturous interference that they have been engaging in, uh, by the way. So that's one of the things I did. So uh, one of the things you can do uh, to fight back. So I'll read this last comment. And I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to take off. Hadrupal Sosa says, uh, don't feel bad about getting retribution for that uh, treasury situation in D.C., uh, by the way. Hmm says don't feel bad i'm not sure what's the uh if you can explain what's the uh retribution for the tre treasury situation what are you referring to uh, i'm not familiar with that uh you said don't feel bad about getting retribution for that treasury situation okay i'm not sure what you mean by that unless you were mean when i was mentioning how uh they demonetize my uh, my channel and that's what i did to fight back so let me know if you're still there, Hadrupal. Uh, what do you mean by that? This last comment, give me a better understanding. I'm not sure what you're uh, meaning uh, for the Treasury situation in D.C. Uh, what you it says? Okay, he says them cats about the black card. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, I, I kind of see what you're saying. By the way, yeah. Well, I've done a lot of videos. I've said a mouthful about that and i have a video on my rumble account by the way it may not be in the description box of this video but if you check my previous videos 
I have where to find me on Rumble. I have to, like I said, get more videos over there, just upload, transfer my videos from over here or my other channel and just put them over on Rumble. That's all I got to do. Uh, and then I have a lot of stuff uh, that they've, uh, I have archived, by the way. And and by the way, YouTube has, even on this channel, uh, with the restrictions, they did remove some other videos uh, that I got notifications from. But I can't, like I said, with this channel that I'm currently speaking to you all on right now, I can't log into my back office. So I don't have access to the back office anymore. And this is the channel that has been demonetized. So that's why I did what I did to fight back and expose uh, what I've done. So that's what I know other people, other big names over there that are more consistent, that put out consistent content. I wanted to give a heads up and you guys can also give a warning to those people. And it has helped tremendously. I was able to get the word out earlier on. If you look at my feature video over here, I was able to warn other big name content creators and people. Uh, if you have a large following to get on those other platforms it says an old story you gave us. OK, yeah, definitely uh, says I think your cousin had invited you to a seminar in D.C. Yes. Yes. You familiar with it? I forgot. I think you did say we met. Even though it's been a long time, I don't really re remember you, by the way, but I did remember you did reach out to me. So I appreciate that. Big shout out. And there was a couple other people and one uh, person that I'm in touch with in particular that's in the Virginia area that actually knew someone. I didn't know she was an attendee at first. And she actually knew uh, the attendee who died, who passed away, uh, by the way, that I had met some years ago, back actually specifically in 09. Uh, so I call it newer sister Shanania, but Darlene Randolph, rest in peace too, uh, by the way. Uh, the, but this other sister that I'm in contact with that uh, knew her, I would just say, I won't say her name. She did reach out to me and express her concern and things that I already knew this. And there was many other people that have left. Uh, and that's why one of the reasons I decided not to go back to that and deal with that nightmare uh fraud again and some people say oh you're trying to be negative or we're not going to be negative but they come up with so many different excuses and reasons that i just stopped buying the bs and they claim to be a christian organization claim to want to do humanitarian projects but i don't buy any of the bs anymore uh with that i'm actually uh it it it, it uh polarized me to a great degree and I don't look up to a lot of people, especially as this information has come out recently with uh, uh, Puff Daddy, Bishop T.D. Jakes, uh, a lot of this controversy with the comedian Kevin Hart, uh, Oprah Winfrey with Taraji P. Henson has said, I already knew what the comedian Monique said years ago, with Monique from Queens of Comedy, what she said about Tyler Perry, Lee Daniels, and Oprah Winfrey. And Oprah, I said in the previous video, actually found out some other people beat me to the punch uh they already got major dirt on oprah if you don't believe how because some people were trying to say she wasn't connected to epstein now i'll say this i didn't see her name on the list uh now reddit had her name listed from a prop before the story broke uh that broke recently about that uh list but i did discover another channel that had reported on there was a british actor uh that had uh, named Oprah and Naomi Campbell. Now, Naomi Campbell, model Naomi Campbell, was named in, in that uh, in those names that were unsealed by the judge that was released uh, publicly, uh, by the way. This British actor or model, I can't remember the name. You can look up the article. Some lady I found out ran a story of some uh, YouTube channel. You have to just do your research, type in, expose an Oprah or whatever. And I was like, wow, they did an, a very impressive job. And they found the same article that I found because I didn't forget what the why did the music artist seal that was a four time Grammy Award winner what he mentioned years ago. He immediately uh, was accused of, of, of rape charges after he said what he said about Oprah. I didn't find that to be a coincidence when he said you were part of it when that information when remember Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein's story broke and he was tied heavily to uh, Jeffrey Epstein. They said around 05, 06. And Oprah was known for being very good friends with Harvey Weinstein. And you remember at one of the award shows when her friend, uh, the actor Mel Street, had even uh, gave a, a, a shout out to uh, Harvey Weinstein as a friend of mine. Some other people pointed out, some people replayed that clip of the actor Mel Street. But all of a sudden, 
they tried to make it uh, about solely about women. I told a friend of mine that was to take away from the secret stuff that they've been doing, trafficking children with Mel Gibson's movie, Sound of Freedom was exposing. Uh, Oprah has been uh, at the top of major scandal. She had a scandal at that school years ago and that she built in Africa, uh, by the way. And there's these uh, stories, they go way more in depth. This is not separate from the Taraji P. Henson incident and the Monique incident separate they've got major major dirt so i don't put faith uh, i don't trust a lot of these people i used to uh, i was really shocked to hear about bishop jakes not too long ago and i asked a relative i said i never knew uh bishop jakes was hanging with p diddy that blew me away that the fact that he uh he came off years ago as a man of a, a man of authoritative power that he would correct people that he wouldn't uh he, did, he used to type that would not give in and uh man i said wow that really blew me away to find that out uh some other things i hit, heard about you know allegedly uh so but they got the goods i was going to just let you guys know that uh morale morale channel was wrong about that i'll say he does good work i like a lot of his videos as long as uh uh with uh tisa tells and uh i haven't met T tough news i like the reports they do put out uh, but I'm going to say Marad Morali is wrong. There's a lot of videos I found on YouTube that actually some other content creators with bigger followings than I do that have major goods on Oprah, uh, by the way, that she's not this adorable angel, just like Hillary Clinton. Uh, very damning, damning information. If I want to go in, maybe I could down the road, but uh, it's out there, by the way. So you can look up the article. There's a model. She accused Oprah Winfrey. And, and the actress Naomi Campbell being used by Weinstein to try to force her to uh, sleep with Weinstein as like a bait and switch, as they say, she was uh, procuring uh, women for Weinstein. Uh, and I find that true to be truth as Naomi Campbell's name was mentioned. And this is what this, you can look up this British actor uh, said. And I have another source, someone I knew uh, personally, I haven't been in touch with in a while. She's a travel nurse and she told me about uh her grandmother uh in haiti uh who saw children being trafficked she's second generation haitian uh by the way and she told me uh that story so oprah is heavily if you guys don't know that uh, i was like whoa this was deep real deep because a friend of mine was like oh you can't expose oprah her image is so squeaky clean this that and other it's like no it's not uh just look up there's videos make sure you download them and archive them but they did these particular videos. I think one of them was censored. This one lady, she did a very good narration and I couldn't find the original video because I knew YouTube, they probably, they removed it because they want you to see Oprah in this positive light that she's this guardian angel and uh, everybody's mother and this, that, and other. No, uh, and you guys should, uh, don't take my word for what I'm saying, but look up uh, Ali Carter, the story of the sex traffic victim uh, on Rumble, Stu Peters did an interview with Ali Carter. She's a black girl, she's believed to be. Now, this is just in my personal opinion, allegedly from the research that I did, that she allegedly may be Tupac Shakur's uh, uh, illegitimate daughter. Don't quote me exactly. Allegedly, her name was Tori Outlaw was her government name. And her adoptive mother, they're on the run currently. Her adoptive mother has been protecting her, but she was prostituted out uh as a teenager in the la area and she says she was brought to police chiefs and stuff like that she tells a very uh horrific stories uh but awareness needs to be spread and she did an interview on the Stu peter show she also did other independent interviews as well and it would behoove you to archive those download those many of those i don't think are uh, i haven't looked them up on uh youtube but they're on rumble but you want to type in ali carter uh by the way yes uh yes uh ali carter you've heard of her excellent i know i skipped over i'm gonna get back to some of the other comments yes you want to look up ali carter uh and she tells a very uh insightful story i'll just put it at leave it at but those out there can make their own assessment make their own evaluation and judgment but as i was uh saying previously uh that's the connection if you were wondering uh what if oprah i don't i can't say that she did meet epstein or there's if, if there's any photos but reddit had her name in the list so i don't know because some people they said were just throwing names out there 
but the connection would be she was heavily oprah was heavily connected to harvey weinstein we know this for sure for a fact and some say she didn't even detach herself when she was pushing this times up and me too movement that she never definitively she was playing straddling the fence that she didn't definitively uh denounce harvey weinstein or rebuke him immediately or all throughout that fiasco because it was alleged uh and there's been other channels that have reported on this that she was procuring women and there's an article about a british model that accuses uh oprah and naomi campbell of being used by harvey weinstein to lure her in uh to have sex uh to get different roles and stuff like that you know dealing with the director's couch etc so that's the dirt that, that is definitely uh not just dealing with taraji p henson what they stated what Mo monique said years ago uh but on a separate note and then there's information that band.video has there's actually a video i found uh from some years ago when that uh stuff about uh weinstein harvey weinstein was really big uh celia gonzalez says thank you dorsey for all the info you give us oh you're welcome celia uh, appreciate you uh for joining uh hadrupo says oh yeah i heard about oprah and her school in africa yes uh mary saunders says hello everyone Greetings to you, Mary. Thank you for joining. Well, I did say I'm going to get ready to shut things down. I know I can get on fire sometimes uh, with the information. I appreciate you guys that do still continue to rock with me. Make sure if you haven't done so yet, uh, head over to the new channel at Dorsey's Resource 873. Just be on standby over there. Uh, so whenever I put out new content down the road, you will be updated but i may for the near future youtube just to give you all a heads up they're they're updating their policies again by the way word i got there's a channel a friend of mine put me up on uh and the guy gave a very thorough explanation i would have to come back before you guys because i don't have the specific notes with me but they were saying something to the effect they're trying to make to make it harder to clamp down on free speech youtube doesn't want you to talk about events dealing with uh they said news newsworthy events or something like that or stuff dealing with the pandemic or even future events they put it in this type of wording to show you how ridiculous things are getting as they uh continue to clamp down and try to put the foot down on uh shutting people up and you know that's why there's power in numbers guys don't make them don't let them stop you from talking stop you from being whistleblowers continue to get the word out warn teach your children uh, equip them with the skill sets that they need to fight against the new world order the one world government for what they are trying to do uh they will not win we will defeat them uh, and they are not invincible by the way so until next time may the force be with you guys thank you all for joining uh, i'm out peace